12 News is your election headquarters and tonight Orangefield ISD is pushing for a nearly $43 million bond. Orange County is seeing a major boom in business and population and this money would help the district address the growing demand for space. Now if it passes, all three of the district's campuses would get upgrades. Most of them you would see at the high school. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Brenda Matuti and I'm Jordan Williams. We'll talk more about the Cowboys in just a bit, but first to 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman and Ebony. This school bond would address classroom sizes and also safety concerns. That's right, guys. This $42.9 million bond will be on the November 7th ballot. After a steering committee toured campuses, the Orangeville superintendent says they recommended that the district add new classrooms and improve security. The Board of Trustees feel strongly about providing the best environment for our students. It will be up to voters to decide whether a $42 million bond for Orangeville ISD passes. Superintendent Sean McAlpin says if it does, it will bring big changes. The junior high will also uh, have about six to seven additional classrooms with some restrooms and some other uh, facilities that are needed for that campus. And then the high school will see anywhere between eight in 10 classrooms, we want to ensure that they have the proper door locking mechanisms, the fencing. McAlpin says bond money would also be used to get Orangeville Elementary students out of temporary buildings and into real classrooms. They were made available to the district after Harvey and it allowed us some additional space for our students. Like at our elementary, we're pretty much using all of those spaces. He says this isn't something the district wants. With the recent growth and development in Orange County, it's something they need. It's about a 12% increase over the last 20 20 years and about a 4% uh, increase over the last 10. Jared Spencer, a broker with Spencer Real Estate, says the new Golden Triangle Polymers plant is largely responsible. So those people, they're going to have the extra income to upgrade their rental situation, to buy their first home. Spencer says about 200 homes are going up in Orangeville, just waiting for families to move in. I just talked to a person from Oklahoma. They're looking to relocate here, and we've got those same calls on the East Coast. They're pipe fitters, they're fabricators, they're heavy equipment operators. They're going where the work is, and right now we have a surplus of that work coming up. Superintendent McAlpin says the bond would increase the tax rate by 35 cents, and homeowners 65 and older are eligible to be exempted. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.